Hey everybody, welcome back to Whiteboard Finance. My name is Marco and I'm here to help you master your money and build your wealth. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about nine benefits of having a paid off house or a paid off mortgage. So having no mortgage payment is definitely a blessing. However, in this interest rate environment with interest rates being so low and mortgage rates being so low, it doesn't always make sense to pay those off. If you remember my video from about three or four videos ago, I talk about the difference between paying off a house early or investing that money. Um, however, uh, let me show you how this can actually cascade into nine life-changing benefits when you actually do have a paid off house. So the beginning of the video is gonna be a little bit about math, but we're gonna transition into psychology and emotion. So make sure you stay until number nine because it's the most important one. Okay, so the first two benefits may seem pretty obvious, but it's important to discuss very quickly. So obviously, when you get rid of your mortgage, you have lower living expenses or a lower monthly nut to cover. Yes, that's supposed to be a nut. It is not a strawberry. It's a nut like an acorn. Um, I know you don't tune in for my art, but hear me out here. So when you have a lower monthly nut to cover, this will actually allow you to retire quicker because as long as you can supplement your income or create passive income that adds up or surpasses your monthly nut, you are then financially free and financially independent at that point. So knocking out this mortgage is a huge number one. Number two is getting rid of other debt or tackling other debt. So you can snowball your mortgage payment into other debts that you may have, like a car payment or student loans, for example. So instead of paying that 12, 1300 bucks a month for a mortgage or whatever your mortgage payment may be, you can take that money and then plow it into other debts. So when you have other higher interest debts, and what I consider higher interest debt to be is anywhere that's greater than four or 5%, at least in this interest rate environment, I would focus on paying off that debt rather than investing, unless you know for a fact you're gonna be able to beat that with an after-tax return. So number two is getting rid of other debt. So number three and four, continuing with a little bit of math, is number three is increasing your savings rate. So this will allow you to actually fill up your emergency fund very quickly if you didn't have one, which is super important in my opinion. And the second is that we talked about these buckets. So if you remember my previous video talking about how to save without a budget, these buckets such as your travel, your car fund, your house maintenance fund, or any funds that you may have, you may be saving for a boat, for example, I don't know, whatever floats your boat no pun intended, you can fill up these buckets much quicker because you don't have that monthly mortgage uh, you know, taking a chunk out of your monthly income. And then number four is the cost of interest. So if we took a $350,000 mortgage over 30 years, at 2.5% interest, you're paying $147,000 over those 30 years. If your mortgage was 4% at $350,000, you're paying $251,000 over those 30 years. So if you just eliminate that mortgage quicker, or if you eliminate it altogether be, uh, before this 30 years, you're gonna be saving the cost of those interest payments, especially if you take a look at an amortization schedule. Uh, this video is actually sponsored by Policy Genius. So before I get into number five, which is talking about your net worth, uh, it's very important that you take a look at this spot because this will be protecting your net worth with life insurance. Policy Genius is an insurance marketplace, not an insurance company. With Policy Genius, you can easily apply online and compare your quotes all in one place. Policy Genius never sells your information to other companies like other companies may do, and you can save 50% or more on life insurance by comparing quotes with Policy Genius. You can also save $1,300 or more per year by using Policy Genius to compare life insurance policies. So I personally feel that it's very important to have life insurance, especially if you have loved ones or dependents who rely on your income for their well-being. If someone needs to put food in their stomach or shelter over their head based on your income, life insurance is a must in my opinion. So getting a quote with Policy Genius is super simple. You basically just explain your situation to them with a couple clicks of the button. Uh, you click on find my free quotes, uh, explain some information about yourself, such as gender, date of birth, things like that and then you can review quotes from that point. So you can have the coverage amount that you want, you can select monthly or yearly, you can adjust the policy length. It's super easy, super intuitive, and you don't have to be a rocket scientist in order to understand what these things mean. At that point, you just put in your information and voila, it's done. Visit policygenius.com slash whiteboard finance to shop the market and start saving today. Okay, so number five is increase net worth. This is the ultimate eggplant measuring stick. It's your net worth. It's not how much money you make, okay? Uh, so if you know the eggplant emoji, we all know what that stands for. This is a ruler. You're measuring the eggplant. Think about it. 
This is what rich people, this is how they measure themselves. They don't look at like, oh, I make 100 grand a year, I make a million dollars a year, I make 10 million dollars a year. No one cares about how much money you make. When you really wanna measure yourself against others, which I don't advocate doing, but I'm saying rich people do do this, net worth is the ultimate eggplant measuring stick. So all net worth is is assets minus liabilities and the equity in your home after it's paid off goes onto your balance sheet because it is an asset. It's something that you own that is worth something, thus highly increasing your net worth over time. Number six is you're easier to fire. I don't mean get fired, like getting fired by your boss or getting fired from your job. I'm talking about it's easier to reach financial independence, retire early status. The reason for this is because I alluded to this in number one. When you have lower monthly expenses, you need less money to retire. You need less income to retire. Let's take a look at an example. So if your monthly expenses are, let's say, $4,000, if you meet this $4,000 in dividend payments, rental income, you know, side hustle, which we'll talk about later in this video, um, you are then financially free. You are covering that nut that we talked about in step number one. Okay, so number seven and eight are where we start getting into the emotional and psychological benefits of not having a mortgage. So number seven is peace of mind. So we've all been through tough times. I remember 2008, I could barely find a job after I graduated with a finance degree uh, because of the great financial crisis. Same thing after uh, last March with the Cerveza sickness. You don't have to worry about job loss. You don't have to worry about recessions. You don't have to worry about unemployment. It's almost riskier to be an employee in this job market, which actually leads me to the next point of number eight. Eight. It gives you freedom to pursue things. So such as a side hustle or a side hobby or a side business that can grow into a full-time income. I personally left my stable W-2 job at a publicly traded bank uh, because my wife and I had no mortgage and we had no debt. So it made my decision to go full-time on YouTube that much easier. So this gives you the freedom to choose, which could open up a whole new avenue of revenue for you. Um, I'm now making more money on YouTube than I did at my banking career. Um, and that's just because you know I had the, the gumption, but also uh, the freedom to choose and to pursue that because I didn't have debt. So number nine, the step that you've all been waiting for, uh, maybe you watched this far, maybe you haven't. Uh, I appreciate you if you have, but that is guilt-free spending and giving. So I'm a big believer in working hard, you know, being disciplined with your finances, but also rewarding yourself. Otherwise, what the hell is the point? Why are you saving up all this money or investing all this money if you're not gonna be able to enjoy it or give it away? So when I talk about you know, guilt-free spending, I'm talking about buying maybe a nicer car, going on a nicer vacation, uh, giving to friends, family, church, you know, whatever. You know, something that's able to um, benefit others, but at the same time, benefit yourself. So I'm a big believer in not being cheap and having to make like 20 cent iced coffee. Uh, I have a video coming out about this later this week. That stuff is not gonna move the needle. Um, when you knock out big stuff and have big wins, like paying off a house, for example, those are wins that are gonna be able to move the needle over time, not saving uh, $2.50 on a coffee. So we'll talk about that, uh, but I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you stayed until the very end. I really appreciate it. Um, be sure to check out the Whiteboard Finance University. I will be launching that soon. Uh, I know it's been a while in the making, but I'm a one-man show. I have to record and outline and do all this stuff, but I promise you it'll be well worth it. Uh, please share the video with one friend if you got value out of it, and as always, have a prosperous day. Hey guys, I saved $700 this year on iced coffee. Sweet. Big win, man. It's really going to move the needle.